The story is told of a prince summoned by his father. I want you to travel to a distant, uh, distant place. There's a village that do not serve me. I need you to go there and influence them for good. The prince was hesitant to leave, but eventually agreed. He traveled to this village, but instead of influencing the people, he was slowly influenced. He soon were removed these princely garments. He soon stopped speaking like a royal. He became like one of the villagers. One day he wakes up to a commotion in the, in the town in the village square. The town cry announces, the king is visiting. He'll be here in one month. The prince is petrified. What will he say to his father? The day of arrival. The crowds gather in the, in the village square. They're waving banners. The trumpets are sounding. The king arrives. Everyone is excited to see the king, except the prince. He is sobbing. The people look around to, uh, to try and identify who could be crying at this moment. And the king looks out as the crowd parts and he sees his son. The prince looks up to his father and says, Father, I'm so sorry I let you down. You sent me on a mission and I failed you. The king looks at his son and says, What are you talking about? Look at the crowd. Look how everyone is smiling. Look at the flags. Look at the trumpets. Listen to the trumpets. They love me. This is on you. You have done so well. But Father, I let you down. Can you forgive me? The king looks at his son with a big smile and says, Of course I forgive you. Come into my carriage and let me give you a big hug. This parable is the story of our lives. Our King God has sent us into this world for a mission, to make the world a better place. But over time, we stray. We forget who we are. And then the shofar sounds on the first day of Elul. The King is arriving and we start to panic. What are we going to say to him? On the day of the coronation, Rosh Hashanah, the king arrives. And we look to him and we say, we are so sorry. We failed in what we did. But Hashem is a kind judge. And he looks at us and says, no, you've done well. I forgive you. That is Yom Kippur. And now come into my carriage. Come be with me. Let us reconnect. That is Sukkot. I want to thank you for being part of this journey with, uh, with me as we've learned uh, different ideas and different insights into the Jewish uh, festivals, into the, into the Shabbat experiences, the Parashat Shavua. And I look forward to sharing with you so much more in the, in the coming year. I bless you and your families with a happy and healthy and sweet new year. And may the year 5780 be the one in which we learn more about our heritage so we can make the world a better place. Wishing you and your families a Shana Tova Umetuka. Shana Tova.